fourth corner of the game. We haven't even reached a quarter of an hour. And the Tigers are keeping Bristol City very much alert defensively. Snodgrass again with the corner. Davis! It's in! He hasn't scored since playing against Preston North End, Curtis Davis, back in October. But at the fourth attempt from the corner, a man in black and amber is connected with Snodgrass's ball in, and it's Curtis Davis who puts the Tigers in front. And it's just the start the Tigers needed. They have bombarded Bristol City's penalty area inside the opening quarter of an hour and their efforts have been rewarded thanks to the flick on from Curtis Davis steering the ball past Richard O'Donnell in the Bristol City goal. Reid will get the ball forward again. Jonathan Kajia, goal side, big shoot, big chance. And possibly the best chance it was for Bristol City as well. They've given the ball away here though, Aluko now. He'll find Snodgrass. The little layoff to Aluko inside the penalty area again, the Tigers. Oh, brilliant goal! It's another goal supplied by a header. Snodgrass jumping high and scoring that second goal. And the Tigers inside the penalty area have made things look pretty simple this afternoon. And Robert Snodgrass has his second goal of the season. And it's now Hull City 2, Bristol City 0. A lot of work to be done now from the side from the West Country. It may have been 1-1 at Ashton Gate, but the Tigers are making things look relatively easy on their return from the international break. And the former Tigers man, veteran Aaron Wilbraham, 36 years of age, warming up, ready to come on in Bristol City's final change. Here's a Luco. Klukas, Diame. He's got away from Flint and he'll shoot! Oh, yes, indeed, that's a great goal! Mo Diame hits the corner flag about as hard as he hit that shot. It's flown into the back of the net and that should really be the match for Hull. 3-0 to the good. Fantastic shot, low and hard into the bottom right-hand corner. He got away from Flint, and the ball got away from O'Donnell. Mo Diame looks to have put the icing on the Tigers' cake. Three goals and three points very much on their way here. Tigers 3, Bristol City 0 with 20 minutes to play. And hopefully... With this victory, it may be the foundations for a charge towards the top two with these final few games remaining after slipping away momentarily in the league. The Tigers are working their way back into contention. The results have been pretty kind so far this weekend. Of course, with ten minutes to go, things could change. But Brighton and Burnley drawing will certainly be a good result. The flag stays down against El Mohamedy. Aluko! Saved, but it's in the net. Richard O'Donnell has had a superb game, but he's very unfortunate as the ball slips through his grasp and Hull have got four against Bristol City. It gets better and better for Hull. And Shani Aluko will claim the goal. His shot, and then O'Donnell spilling the ball when really he should have had that under his control. And the Tigers are now just making things look even worse for the visitors. It's now Hull 4, Bristol City nil.